Gaming can be an expensive hobby thanks to high prices for both consoles and the games that you enjoy on those systems. As such, there isn't anything particularly wrong with wanting the most bang for your buck. Most single-player games are designed to be a one-off experience that you can complete once and get on with your life, but others are built to be replayed over and over again to get the full experience. In this feature, we'll be looking at some of the best games that fall under this bracket. Hitman 2 IO Interactive has done a fabulous job with its new brand of Hitman games, which features some of the best maps the series has seen to date. Not only are the maps large in size, but also dense, with opportunities to murder your targets in some of the most creative ways possible. Beating a level for the first time is just the start in Hitman, and the fun comes from knowing the ins and outs of the level, to a point where you can essentially become a ghost within these labyrinthian environments. Completing the many mission stories and additional challenges of each level nets you rewards in the form of new costumes and alternate starting locations for future playthroughs, which also makes replaying these levels a much more convenient task. We picked Hitman 2 for this list simply because maps like Florida, Mumbai are some of the most replayable ones in the entire trilogy. Elden Ring Set against the backdrop of the mystical world of the lands between, Elden Ring tasks players to explore these dangerous lands and defeat tough-as-nails bosses. It's a vast world with tons of secret areas available for you to explore, along with NPC quest lines that you can complete, and it's unlikely that you will have seen and done it all in the first playthrough. Much like every other From Software game before, Elden Ring also features a plethora of weapons, armors, and spells which can be used to craft wacky builds that can make short work of any enemy that you throw at it. Add to that multiple endings and New Game Plus, and Elden Ring becomes a really worthy candidate for a highly replayable experience. Disco Elysium ZAUM delivered a surprisingly great detective game in the form of Disco Elysium, which wowed gamers with its distinct set of mechanics and undeniably charming art style. Solving numerous cases in this narratively rich world remains a joy, and there's a lot of flexibility in how you go about the business, which makes it such an engaging experience. And because a lot of what you see in the game is dictated by your actions, Disco Elysium can vary wildly from playthrough to playthrough. All in all, it's a real Really fascinating game that's worth playing, so if you haven't played it yet, definitely give it a try. Mass Effect 2 Mass Effect 2 is a breathtaking space opera about Commander Shepard and his crew fighting back to save the galaxy from impending peril. It's a worthy sequel that not only refined the ideas that worked in the original, but also expanded the scope of the experience in plenty of meaningful ways. And like the original, Mass Effect 2 also features different dialogue options, which can significantly alter the outcome of the narrative and quite possibly take the conclusion to a completely different tangent. This alone makes the game ripe for a second or a third playthrough, and the fantastic combat system also helps to keep the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay fresh and fun, even after sinking dozens upon dozens of hours into this one hell of a game. Resident Evil 2 Remake Resident Evil 2 might not seem all that replayable at first. It is only a 6-8 to eight hour adventure that's a pretty linear one through and through, but once you beat the game for the first time, you realize that it's just the beginning. There's two separate story sides for both Leon and Claire, which totals up to four different playthrough experiences. You can significantly change the experience by going with the harder difficulties, or dip your toes into the survivor side stories, which also provide a formidable challenge that's worth undertaking for veterans of the main game. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands Tiny Tina's Wonderlands makes for a refreshing yet recognizable gameplay loop that's incredibly addictive. It's a lengthy game that has a good amount of endgame content on top of a rich base content, but those who wish to get more out of the experience are incentivized to revisit the game by choosing to play with a different character class and building it out with new skills for a completely different experience. There are more than a handful of character classes to choose from, and you can make different permutations by joining a secondary class. So Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is definitely ripe for replayability. Dishonored 2 the Dishonored games, much like Hitman, are built to let players loose in a vast sandbox with a plethora of tools and an objective that can be fulfilled by any means that you see fit. Each level is chock full of different paths that lead to some amazing assassination opportunities for your targets. 
and there's also plenty of fun to be had in leveraging your special powers and creative ways to whiz past enemies or take them down in an instant. What makes Dishonored 2 all the more replayable is its choice of two different protagonists, each of which has different powers at their disposal. Corvo controls very differently than Emily, and each of the two characters has a separate high chaos and low chaos playstyle, and experiencing it all will definitely take more than a handful of playthroughs. The Quarry While Supermassive Games has been on a hot streak lately with one hit after another, The Quarry definitely stands out against other games of the same ilk from the developer. The story revolves around a group of teenagers trying to survive a night at the Hackett's Quarry summer camp, all while supernatural creatures and not-so-friendly locals try to take their lives. Each scenario presents you with a bunch of options, and your decisions will ultimately dictate the course of the story. The ultimate challenge is obviously trying to save all the characters, but there's a lot of fun to be had with just experimenting with the narrative and witnessing the different conclusions. Add to that the ability to play with friends and vote on every decision, and the quarry also doubles as a great party game for a horror night, alongside being super replayable to boot. Red Dead Redemption 2 Rockstar Games' Red Dead Redemption 2 is an expansive narrative about the charismatic cowboy that is Arthur Morgan, set against the backdrop of a rapidly changing America. It's a beautifully realized world that is equally immersive, and it's complemented well with a plethora of quality content spread across the entire map. While the game is pretty linear in terms of the critical narrative, you can radically change your playstyle while you are out and about exploring the open world. Helping people and generally obeying the martial law will increase your honor, while behaving like a psychopath will obviously result in a lower honor level. There's a unique joy to be had in both of these playstyles, which definitely calls for at least a second playthrough if not more. Detroit Become Human it's been almost five years since Detroit Become Human released, but it still stands tall as one of the best narratives in recent memory. It's easily one of the best works from Quantic Dream, and it's also one of the most flexible games to date. Choices in Detroit Become Human really do matter, and the endings can vary wildly depending on what you choose during key moments in the story. What's also fascinating is how the narrative can loop around itself, as certain different choices will ultimately lead you to the same conclusion. Even witnessing these narrative systems will require more than a couple of playthroughs, and really getting the most out of the experience will require a few more. The Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes Yet another of Supermassive's games on this list, the Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes continues the trend of delivering compelling narratives that twist and turn based on the choices you make during the adventure. And much like every other game from the developer, House of Ashes features multiple endings that obviously require you to play through the game at least a few times to get the full gist of it. And if you really jibe with the experience, you can continue to explore the story with even more playthroughs and House of Ashes will continue to reward you with additional trinkets of gameplay and scenarios that you might not have seen before. The Witcher 3 Current Gen The Witcher 3 is undoubtedly developer CD Projekt Red's magnum opus, thanks to a rich world filled to the brim with picturesque vistas and compelling narratives. It's a game that just keeps on giving, and the game really means it. You could spend hundreds of hours questing across the gargantuan map, and it's very likely that you'll eventually stumble upon something new. The side stories in The Witcher 3 have some of the best writing in recent memory, the quality of which rivals that of the main quest. Furthermore, the outcome of these stories and the critical narrative that binds it all together can drastically change depending upon your actions, which makes this game worth revisiting another time. And while you're at it, you could try playing on a higher difficulty, which will nudge you to grasp the concepts of potion brewing and crafting, further enriching your experience. Neo 2 Team Ninja has struck gold with its signature take on the Soulsborne genre, and Neo 2 is easily one of, if not, the developer's best work to date. It's a brutal ride through and through, but the game gives a lot of flexibility to the players in how they approach a combat encounter, thanks to a ton of varied weapons and loadouts at one's disposal. The game itself is pretty long on its own, alongside a healthy endgame portion, but it's definitely worth revisiting after the credits finally roll. The New Game Plus options make for a considerably refreshing experience, and the fun that you get with co-op gameplay is just icing on top of an already lovely cake. Gran Turismo 7 
Polyphony Digital's latest Gran Turismo 7 might not have had the best of launches, but the developer has listened to the community and made the game a lot better with substantial post-launch updates. As it stands, Gran Turismo 7 is one of the best racers on the market. Thanks to a strong simulation core driving the experience, alongside a buffet of varied content available for players to dive into, it can take hundreds upon hundreds of hours trying to acquire the many legendary cars on offer, but what makes the game highly replayable is the constant influx of new content to the experience. For instance, recent content updates have added a new Sophie AI driver for select races alongside the ability to enjoy the game in VR. Furthermore, each update also brings new menu books, races, and vehicles for players to work through, which is a compelling enough reason to keep checking back after a while. Sifu Sifu has proven to be one of the most pleasant surprises of last year thanks to its strong foundation of ideas that come together to make a solid hand-to-hand -hand combat system. It might seem impenetrable at first due to the brutal permadeath mechanics, but those who keep at it will be rewarded with one of the most satisfying action experiences of recent memory. Beating the game is only the beginning though, since Sifu features an incredibly high skill ceiling that dedicated players can work towards with repeat playthroughs. So while you might manage to complete the game at an age of 60, you might be able to beat it a second time at a younger age. This loop of self-improvement can be pretty addictive, which makes Sifu a highly replayable experience. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.